Hello, everyone. I'm glad to meet you on fourth international conference on sustainable futures, environmental, technological, social, and economic matters. My name is Ivan Sakhno. I am one of authors of paper on numerical simulation of the surface subsidence evolution caused by flooding of the Long Gulf during excavation of thin coal seams. If you will have any question, you can send them of email to me. This paper is divided on five parts. The first part, one, is introduction. The second one is characteristic of study area. The third one is methods. The next one is result and discussion. And the last is conclusions. So well, introduction is the first part. And ground mining has a significant influence on ground movement, also knows its subsidence, which induced serious environmental disturbances on land. This phenomena have a negative impact on surface infrastructure objects, civil industrial building, water and agro-industrial objects, and specific objects mining companies. The actual phenomenon that is specific for the coal mines of Ukrainian Donbas is a flooding on the underground roadway as a result of the closure of the mines and increasing mine water level. The risk of increased water inflows into roadway system due mining stoppage caused by war is increasing. Flooding causes changes in the physical and mechanical properties of rock mass provokes the development of deformation process on the rock strata and deepens the negative consequence of undermining. In this paper, for the geological conditions of thin coal seams typical for the Ukrainian Donbas, through numerical simulation, ground movement evolution as the result of flooding of Long Golgov was studied. This study provides a characteristic of the influence of mine water rising level of Long Golgov on the activation of subsidence. The key study mine is located in the west southern part of Pokrovsk. The Solidovsk city is located near the western border of the minefield. Mikhailovka and Marinovka village are located in the undermining zone. The part of the mine plan with surface objects is shown in slide. The highway Donetsk Solidove is in undermining zone of southern Longwall. At the same time, the highway located almost perpendicular to the seam strike line. This line is marked in the section for the numerical simulation. Okay, the next part is the methods. Traditional ideas about overburden deformation zones caused by long wall subsidence were accepted. The height of the cave zone was taken equal to eight times the thickness of coal seams. The height of the fracture zone was 60% of the length of the long wall. Mine water level, rise and go flooding were modeled in two stages. At the first stage, the height of the flood level was 40% of the height of the fracture zone, and the second stage, 100%. Schemes of deformation zone caused by long wall subsidence and subsequent flooding are shown in slide. We used method of numerical simulation and method of engineering and graphic analysis. Software system ANSYS was used. General view of numerical models can you see on slide. The study consisted of three cases. Basic model, model with flooding of 40% of the fracture zone, and model with flooding of 100% of fracture zone. The simulation was carried out step by step as follows. Step 1. Loading the model with gravity followed by writing the values of stress and displacement in all nodes of model to file. Step 2. Reading the recorded file with values and recalculation the model for the roiding displacement in the case simulation of initial stress strain state of strata with obtained. Step 3. Modeling of coal excavation on formation of caving zone and fracture zone. This is basic model. Step 4, simulation of flooding 40% of fracture zone, and step 5, simulation flooding 100% fracture zone. To simulate the behavior of rock 
in the cave zone and fracture zone, the correct of their properties was used, taking into account the fracturing. For this, the Hoek Brown criterion was used. Okay, the next part is the result and discussion. The verification and calibration of the basic model were performed with productive subsidence determined by normative documents Ukrainian DS2. The result of the graphic calculation on the subsidence uh, truth uh, with the corresponding cross section as shown on slide. As can be seen from the right part of the slide, the numerical model allows to adequately describe the process of surface deformation, the respective divergence are minus 5% and plus 5%. In the next stage of modeling, flooding of the long wall gulf was simulated in two stages. The simulation results are shown on slide. The graphs of subsidence and inclination are shown in next slide. The graph shows that after the first step of loading, the maximal subsidence increased by uh, 821 mm by 12%. After the second step of loading, the 900 mm by 22%. At the same time, the length of subsidence trough during flooding increased by only 5 m, about 1.3%. The simulation result showed the length of the subsidence through increase less significant than the maximal subsidence. That flooding provokes the increase in inclination, curvatures, and horizontal displacement. The maximal inclination of the result of full flooding of the fracture zone, according to simulation result, increased by 34%. Flooding by 40% of the height of fracture zone leads to increase in maximum inclination by 22%. Thus, Flooding leads to activation of surface deformation. This causes increased hazard for surface objects, especially at the extension trough zone. For the key study, the risk of destruction of houses in Mikhailovka village, which located in the subsidence prone land, increased. Finally, the last part is the conclusion. It was shown that the long wall of flooding leads to the activation of the subsidence process. As a result of analysis, it was proved that the flooding of the full height of the fracture zone above the long wall go fleets to increase in subsidence by 22%, while the length of the trough increased by 1.3%. Maximum inclination increased by 34% and the maximum curvature by 74%. This contributes to a significant increase in hazard for surface infrastructures located on the edge of the substance stove. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for watching and listening. I am waiting for your question.